almost 80% of the ocean hasn't been discovered. What are you most likely to find there? Sunken ships from all periods of the past. And treasure and most importantly the rum. I think there will be a load of species that we either didn't know about or thought were extinct. Would be pretty cool to discover a dinosaur of sorts right in the deep dark ocean. Especially cool if it's a T-Rex. Might be those tiny arms make them great swimmers. Like little propellers. MH370. This is a great article with a very plausible theory on what may have happened. Link. Edit. TLDR. Pilot was assumed to be clinically depressed based on interviews with friends and family, planned possible suicide mission on flight simulator game, killed all passengers and remaining crew painlessly within minutes by depressurizing cabin, while he himself wore a specialized pilot's air pressure mask, before setting course over the Indian Ocean, flew for a few more hours until sunrise, then manually crashed the plane down into the ocean to die on impact, assuming he didn't want to accidentally survive a gradual descent landing. Edit 2. Oh and also, Malaysia government is corrupt AF and wanted to hide all the information related to the flight to take spotlight away from them. Including providing false information so other countries wasted money searching the wrong ocean, before new information was leaked. Edit 3. Also, some random modestly wealthy American is dedicating his life to finding flotsam from the flight in an effort to eventually find the crash site. A lot of people killed by the mob. Sleeping with the weird, ugly ass fish. Probably just a bunch of bioluminescent creatures and small weird looking creatures. Also trash and maybe pieces of unsolved mysteries that happened out at sea. I'd expect to find some kind of artifact or fossil as well that dates back millions of years. I want gigantic sea creatures to be real cause that'd just be cool ASF. But sadly our friend Blue Whale will have to do. I hope Atlantis is a thing. Maybe some mermaids. 80% of what we have discovered down there are creatures straight out of a horror story, so it's likely we'll discover something even more horrifying. I heard some stories of the guys that weld in the deep dark areas that have to live in pressurized containers while working. There are many stories of huge currents passing by them from something big swimming by that they can't see in the blackness. That's a nope from me. Weird ugly ass fish. I imagine the Simpsons movie where the squirrel has 1000 eyes. The Krabby Patty secret formula. Plankton has entered the chat. Cities of academic fish pondering what they'll find on the 80% of land they haven't explored. They explored 20%? Asterisk asterisk detecting multiple Leviathan class life forms in the region smiley face. Asterisk asterisk. Are you certain that whatever you're doing is worth it? This is why I watch the asterisk asterisk Schmidt, Okeanos, and Nautilus Ocean Floor Survey live streams. Asterisk asterisk. An ocean rover manned by a team of biologists and technicians, live stream their coverage of the bottom of the ocean, collecting specimens and seeing amazing things, often for hours, it's super soothing and yet extremely engaging and the crew have a great rapport and are often full of silly marine puns. Often they run into some extremely beautiful and amazing sights and garbage is actually quite rare thankfully, and the campaigns last for about a week of daily 5 hour long streams, every few months. It rules. Here's an example, link. I wonder how much funds needed for this kind of deep sea expedition team. Maybe we can find ourselves and learn to love life again. The drain plug. I imagine there is some kind of absolutely huge lobster down there. Deep sea gigantism is a thing, giant isopods, squid, spider crabs, and sea are all far larger than their relatives that live closer to the surface. There's also the fact that lobsters never stop growing until they die and do not suffer negative effects of aging. Basically, I just wanted to talk about lobsters for a minute. Did you know lobsters have at least two penises? Did you know lobsters attract mates by pissing out of their eyes? Lobsters are effing cool as poo. Edit. Damn, yal, I didn't expect this post to blow up like this. Anyway. Did you guys know that California spiny lobsters apparently taste better than Maine lobsters, but they aren't eaten in large numbers here, as the vast majority are exported to China? Did you guys know that California spiny lobsters scare away predators by using their huge antennae to make a loud noise that sounds like a train stopping? 
Has the squad heard that female California spiny lobsters have a small claw near one of their pussies for some reason? Did you guys know that two of the California spiny lobsters main predators are the lingcod? Asterisk did y'all know the lingcod isn't a ling, and it isn't a cod? And the cabezon, two of the only fish in the world that have blue meat? How about how langostino, lobsters, aren't lobsters at all but are actually more closely related to hermit crabs? I love information about lobsters, but I did learn recently that they do have a size limit. It's mostly due to becoming too big to move, eat. Also, the larger they get the thicker the shell has to be to hold back the pressure, so they do have an upper limit, it's massive though. Edit. I have been informed that the shell does nothing to resist the pressure. It is still an issue, just not because of the shell. Probably some silt, a few fish, our Lord Cthulhu, nothing out of the ordinary. Mermaids. But not like we imagine them, probably scary. Nah. They all sexy and poo. They comb their hair all day on the rocks I've seen him at Disneyland. Water mostly. Who are you, so wise in the ways of science? Plastic garbage. What's sad is that plastic has already been discovered at the bottom of the Mariana Trench. Scientists predicted it would eventually happen, but not so soon. Asterisk danger asterisk. The five ocean zones are as follows. The sunlight zone. The twilight zone. The midnight zone. The abyssal zone. The danger zone. Going out on a limb here. Fish of some kind? Thank you for watching. We upload new videos every day. So be sure to come back for more fun. Please consider liking and subscribing if you enjoyed the video.